Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm not in Unite, but I do have an interest in Unite, as they are the recognised union in London buses, and what they do, as far as I'm concerned, affects me and anyone in or out of Unite. So, for me, if I was in Unite, which I'm not, but if I was in Unite, I think the best candidate, in my honest opinion, is Sharon Graham. Um, I don't know if any of you have heard of her. If you haven't, look on my Facebook page. I have put a link up for her thing. Now, I need you to look at her manifesto. Her manifesto is fantastic. And uh, I think, to be honest, she's the best candidate out of the lot. Now, I know everyone says Steve Turner this, Steve Turner that. But let's be realistic. John Murphy, the lead officer, and all the other hierarchy are all backing Steve Turner. Joe Harris is backing Steve Turner. Now, those people I've just mentioned, Joe Harris, John and Murphy and the others at the top, what have they done for you? Did you get your strike action over remote sign-on? No. Did you get your fantastic pay rise? No. Did you get your COVID payment for the loss of earnings? No. Did you have to work Sunday duties during a pandemic with no protection in the first lockdown and a loss of earnings? Yeah. Did you get a below inflation pay rise and a backhander to take it? Not 500 quid. Yeah. And are you expecting remote sign on to come in? You want to be because it is going to come because I'm telling you now on the 31st of December 2022 whatever decision they come back with doesn't matter because two weeks or three weeks later half of London bus routes are up for tender and with operators all ready for new drivers putting remote sign on into the contract and new gadgets like the ones at RATP for doing first juice checks and that in buses and sign on sign off capabilities already in apps you can bet your bottom dollar most of those routes will be remote sign-on. The union will not be in a position to do a damn thing about it. And the union knows this. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So that's what they've done for you. So why would you listen to them on their recommendation of Steve Turner? I personally think you should think for yourselves. Have a look at Sharon Graham. Have a look at what she's saying. Have a look at what she's about and put your vote with her because I think she's better by a mile. Because for starters, she ain't being backed by the others. That speaks volumes for me because I don't trust Joanne Harris and I don't trust John Murphy and I don't trust Peter Kavanagh or any of the hierarchy in the union. So when they tell me this is the best person for the job, I look at the other person because I don't believe them. That's what you should do as drivers. So Sharon Graham has definitely got a good manifesto and I think she's definitely the woman to lead this union. And for a union that's full of stuffy haired grey old men from the 1970s and 60s and 80s, she would be a breath of fresh air. She would mean change. And what have you always wanted? Change. So why don't you lot, when you get your ballot papers, instead of listening to the donkey in the office that's been told by the donkey at the top, John Murphy, to vote Steve Turner, why don't you vote with your brain? Why don't you look at her manifesto? And why don't you decide for yourselves whether or not to vote for someone who you want to vote for, not who you've been told to vote for? You have a brain. Use it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this gives you some sort of idea and help in which direction to go in the vote for General Secretary. Um, and if you do like her manifesto, make sure you fill out that ballot paper and return it because the other person gets in. It's probably going to be much of the same, if not more. Right, have a good day, people.